By the way, we're playing uh, we're playing Madden. This is Madden with our new best friend Dan Campbell from uh, the band The Wonder Years. Hi, on Hopeless Records. How's it going, Dan? I'm good. I uh, I'm not. I've never played Madden with two people on each side. Yep, <laughs> that'll, be a, that'll be an adjustment. And it is the only video game I know how to play. So I'm hoping. We were, well, that's that's a we leg up on us because we don't know how to play this. Of myself. Don't worry. We were just having a great conversation earlier about it because I got contacted by the record label and said, uh, we've got this band, The Wonder Years, and they love video games and they really want to come do some Let's Plays with you guys. And we were like, yeah, sure, bring it. And then Dan said, yeah, I got a call from my record label that said, you have to do this. We're going to call and go. <laughs> All right. This uh, is a requirement. Whoever, whoever's controlling, hit A. All right. I think Everybody. It might be I changed it back to enhanced. That's okay. fine. That's the, whatever that. you need to do. This is the road. I to the guarantee playoffs. you, you have more experience than us in this. We yeah, play. You're, you're basically one like, game. So okay. So mm -hmm. our our job is to play video games for a living, and your job is to play music for a that living. That is true. So who do you think has the better job? Uh, I really like my job. I really like my job too. I don't know. I, you guys find never sorry. You get, a, you get a tour of the country though, right? Like we you guys do. are on a tour right just, now. That's why the, you're in Texas. Yeah, we've been all over the world. I think we've done 25 countries now. Allow Jesus. me to oh, allow me to interject because I have a that. little bit of experience in this because yeah. I used to be a roadie for a for a pretty big Scott Punk fan. And uh, it's absolutely more fun to be on tour with a band than it is to be to play video games for a living. See, we're traditionally like specifically me. Like every time someone in like my family or extended family finds out what I do for a living, they're like, "Oh, it must be so cool, man!" Like, the rock and roll lifestyle. I play a set, I drink a bunch of water, I go to bed so that I can sing the next day. That's like my my whole thing. Oh like, yeah, you get the lead singer thing going on. You're not yeah. allowed to have any fun. I can't really. I mean, and I don't. I I don't party either way. But like, I really, even if I did, I wouldn't be able to, based on just the schedule. We do. We're on tour for like it's like 40 days with like 31 shows. Jesus. Wow. When, uh, but see, the cool thing for you is like you get that immediate feedback of an audience. Like yeah. that is that is really cool. Like for us, our audience is the other guys sitting we in this room. Get immediate comments from snarky ass. Yeah, we just get yeah. shit on by the world. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the internet. Yeah, that's <laughs> the internet. That's a, that's our home. Who that's like when uh, like when I was when I used to tour when I used to be a oh, roadie, the lead singer in that <laughs> band. I think you guys actually played with him. I was looking through your old uh, like some of your old tours. Yeah, you used to play like you played a, you did a tour of Streetlight Manifesto. Oh yeah, we did. So Thomas Kalmaki. Oh, yeah. I know. He, yeah, I love Thomas. Yeah, Thomas. He's a he's a he's a dude. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've known him for a very long time. I haven't talked to him in years, but. Uh, when the rest of the band was having fun before and after sets, he would be like in a corner reading Catcher in the Rye and drinking chamomile tea constantly because he was worried about his throat wow. 24 yeah. hours a day. Which yeah. Did That's not the seem thing like because an the most, lifestyle. the worst thing that you can have as a singer is losing your voice because it's like you only really like have one job. You're kicking around. You got to get it right. One job, Dan. <laughs> don't ruin if, this. If, if I get it, it up. Jeff, yeah, it's just you don't want to, you don't want to fuck that up. <laughs> Jeff, are you a fan of Streetlight Manifesto? Am I a fan of Streetlight Manifesto? Yeah. No. <laughs> but I know Thomas. That's I saw all. those guys. They opened for uh, Real Big Fish a couple times. I'm not not a fan of them. I just like you're different. You know, I'm not fucking 20 years old and in the I, 90s dude, anymore. So I don't listen to Dogo was Scott, sitting on that guy's so. head. That was weird. Well, you know, I like Thomas. I like Jamie Egan. He's I like good Josh Ansley. Oh, I like look at that, that poor little OU quarterback. What a you know what's great? Is Sam Bradford's face. eyes are yeah. like different shapes, and they even got it right <laughs> in the game. Like if you look at his face. They're definitely different. I'm going to let you call all the plays, Dan. Yeah, Ryan, okay. you're picking Sam everything. Bradford oh. fucking tried to tank my fantasy yeah, football season. I had to dump him. Hey, he's back. Oh, there we go. Now we He's doing good. He had a great okay. week. I yeah, played him I this know. Week. And I fucking Tannehill did not. So so do you have throat insurance? Is that no. a real thing? No? No, no, no. The only, we have liability insurance in case I jump in the crowd and uh, hurt somebody. So I've been trying to do less of that because apparently we can get in a lot That's of trouble for it. Oh, oh. oh. Wow. Oh, Jesus. How do you change players? So laggy. you guys are on tour with Motion City Soundtrack right now? We are. Uh, we're having a great time with those guys. They're like my... One of my favorite. Like They're one of the reasons we're a band. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. How, how is that? They just helped you out early on, or you they were just influenced? No, they're just there? a huge influence. They're an interesting band. I, so I haven't really been in the scene in about Coming to you. 10 years, because I'm an old dude. But... Uh, they're uh, they were like one of those bands, kind of like Jimmy Eat World, that like got managed to get signed to a record label before they ever played a show. I think. Uh, most or no, City? maybe they were like they were the most successful unsigned what band. Ever. When I, when I started listening to them, they were already on um, the Epitaph, maybe. Epitaph, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just to be clear, how do you guys like being on Hopeless Records? It's great. There's, I mean, they're uh, the team there works really hard. Which is the the thing that you want. They've gotten to be a pretty fucking huge label from back when, like, yeah. 
They had like uh, gutter mouth and Jeff, I'm gonna hand the ball off to you. It's gonna be an inside zone. You wanna follow number seventy one right there. Just That's your a, blocker. Good Ready? Lord. Go yeah. for it. <laughs> follow. That's no fair. You're telling them what to do. <laughs> oh and, oh my and it didn't help. Well me. There we go. It like, didn't somebody help. else got it, but but See, the, you, you, you're already coaching a lot more than any of us, any of us ever have it's in this true. game. It's usually just us screaming at each other until someone throws a pick. Usually Jack just picks a code but doesn't tell anybody what the code is. So I was just telling like, Jeff. Red Eagle! Red no, Eagle! We had, we had uh, fucking, we had Jeff and I had hand signals stuff. last time we played. Yeah, we did. We, we were in good. great shape here. I didn't realize it was third and seven. So you guys have been around for, I thought, like 2005 or something? Yeah, we've been around for a decade, but the first half of it, we were like full-time college students. So we didn't really do a whole lot. Oh no! Oh my God! Jack. There's so many wide open players. Wow! Wow! Oh. Uh, uh, Ryan, get him! So are it. you a? What flag? I hope that's not a holding flag. Yeah, that's. Bring it back. Bring are it you back. sick to death of touring at this point? No, I still like it. The the only downside is like, is that against us? Pass interference. I don't know. It's like a against the offense. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Accept that. Uh, Hit A, Ryan. Yes. Hit X. All right. <laughs> We're gonna have to go. Clearly, you, you knocked down our players. Yes. Yeah. And that was very rude of you. Yeah, we're uh, going to Ryan go zone coverage. Got it. Uh, X. Yeah. No, I got we got this. I played. Yeah, the only downside is not being around. Like, my, my yeah. mom just well, adopted a baby girl. In high uh, oh, really? So I have From a new sister that I, so I did not movie. have before, right? Like, right before I left for this tour. And so I don't, you know, I don't get to hang out with her. I don't get to see my fiance as much as I want to. Uh, oh, you just grabbed ball. that. And at this point, do you just absolutely fucking hate your bandmates? No, they're my best friends. <laughs> really? Still? They're still my best friends. So, must be nice. How'd even when we're not on tour, we hang out. They're, how'd you guys all meet? Uh, three of us went to one high school. The other three went to the neighboring high school. And uh, we just we were in a bunch of different local bands, and we just started playing shows together and just kind of worked it out that way. That's cool. Were your schools right? Couldn't be, couldn't be more opposite not of really. this. Not really. Our... our my high school was really, really big. Um, what is really, really big in Philadelphia? My graduating class was 1,100. Jesus uh, Christ. That's and so big. we were dominant at everything because there's so many people. I bet you guys had a fucking roided out chess club. <laughs> I, uh, probably. Who's we won uh, They're on that stuff from that. Oh, uh, I'm not used to playing on pro. That went really slow. <laughs> oh, All right, well. Jack, you got right. this. Block me. I blocked the one guy. I went into him. You went him. backwards two feet and fell uh, down. <laughs> oh, no, I'm four to yard. Solid. Cole Beasley's not, not terrible return. He's yeah, good, our, good our high school won states like the year I was a senior. Our high school football coach is Mike Pettin, who is now the head coach of the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, uh, I mean, are, you, are you proud of that? Or? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he came a long way. I mean... He started from the bottom and ended up at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a much higher floor. Well, he could got, be the Lions. He's got a, he's got a, a Johnny Manziel right now, right? That's uh And, I mean, when he gets him back, we'll have happened. Josh right. Gordon, which is exciting. And... Or the hike button. Oh, found it. We're good. Poor Ryan is so out of his element. And it's to Jason. There you go. Jason Witten. That, that was four. Right, God damn it. So that guy right there, is a, he's a monster. So he just keep looks throwing like a him. monster. Yeah, Jason so when you guys got started, what uh, what like were some of the bands that you were into? Players. Like, what, what were you well, Motion City stuff? was a Motion big City, one. Of uh, Saves the Day was a really big one. Oh, yeah. um, Little League, which was like a local, not a local band, but a band from Philly. I'm trying to think of what else. That was one of the best parts about being a roadie for when I was, was uh, it was like in the late 90s oh, in fight, Jersey fight, fight, fight. when uh, like Saves <laughs> the Day was huge and like Kid Dynamite was really big and I got to see so many awesome bands like every fucking day. Was that referee Lil J? They all broke up. They all of them. <laughs> so how many how many times have you guys played Austin before? We played Austin a bunch of times. Uh, we tend to have, I it flips back and forth, but San Antonio and Austin both do pretty much equally as well. Yeah. So this tour we decided we're going to do San Antonio, which is why I had to I rented a car and drove yeah, you, up here. Yeah, you for drove this. up here to play some mountain with it. That's pretty well cool. only because he had to. Right. Well, it's just that <laughs> he was forced to. I, I'm like the worst new media guy. Like, I just, uh, when people started to explain to me, like, oh, yeah, you're super famous on YouTube, it was, like, a confusing thing for me at first. Like, I just, <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm the worst millennial there's ever been. I'm you an old man. You know the bar with that low for famous? Or? <laughs> I, I'm just, like, I've I'm, I'm been an old man since I was 20. Nice. Uh, you might be surprised. Ryan over there, he, uh... Has had Twitter now for three years. He follows one person still. Only because yeah. he was forced to. Only because he had to. Due to charity. Charity I am, made me. I'm good at, no, I'm not good at Twitter, but I understand Twitter. <laughs> You're Twitter in simple. the Twitter hive mind. Right. 
Oh, get in. He drug his feet. Drug his feet. Bullshit. Looks no good. Gave it to him. A catch? I did? Yeah, I got it. a catch. I mean, yes, that was an amazing throw by me. Oh, first down. Ryan, you have no fucking clue what you're doing, dude. I'm just hammering buttons, man. I don't know. So after a decade of this, do you guys still have... You probably It's a probably all business on tour, right? You don't have, like, dumb hijinks. We still do some fun stuff. We try to do fun... Like, yesterday, we went to a trampoline gym. Uh, <laughs> and I'm really sore from it. <laughs> like, embarrassingly sore from it. <laughs> Did anyone try doing, like, any flips or anything? Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, that was a nice, great block. Jack. Oh, get up, get up. Oh, that was a really good block. It's that crazy trampoline rock star lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, any, but, like, any, like, I'm a golden god type situations, like going to high school kids' parties or anything? No. Okay. <laughs> no. It's, we're just, we're, like, the least exciting band like that. Like, we don't, we don't go to any right, parties. Really That's a good way to promote your, your band. Right. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I just, we're great live. We really are. <laughs> we're a really good band. Band, but we're not good rock stars. Okay, that uh, was just, and so, it's it's. I think it's a. Uh, so you're less Dave Grohl, more, uh, I don't know, more relaxed. Yeah, we're just. I think, and I think that's a symptom of. Watch that left side, right? Um, yeah. I just kind of the way that we came up and the way that we do it. Like we, we didn't get signed before we played a show. We played years of shows in basements and VFW halls and gymnasiums and the way it's supposed to be your friend's living room in Brooklyn that doesn't fit so we had to put the drum kit in the closet <laughs> that's just that like that's the way closet. we started the band so I don't know none of the rock and roll stuff really worked for us it didn't happen for us that way and you guys got you guys first got signed to no idea right no sleep no sleep no sleep yeah no sleep records that was the uh yeah that was our first label oops I pushed a bumper <laughs> God damn it, Ryan. Oh, that, oh, oh! There we go. All right. There you go, Beasley. Byron. That's you why we're paying you all that, that money. He's looking for his dignity. Hey, he's going to have to look a little harder. <laughs> if you had to kill one member of your band, who would it be? <laughs> wow, you're really just honing uh, in on this. Is there a specific reason I have to kill them? Well, dude, let's do All right, how about this? Yeah, let's do an F. Mary kill. Um... I don't know, it might be Kennedy, Kennedy, Kennedy. My drummer for all <laughs> nice. three. Nice, wow. It's always he's the drummer. Everything. Always the drummer. Uh, oh shit, Ryan! <laughs> nice. Oh, Ryan. Uh, also, why didn't knock him out of field goal range? But I'm not sure what you that ran, play you was. You ran three passing attempts on like the 12. I know yard exactly line. what the that play was. was. I watched that happen. It. You were trying to run a slip screen. Was I? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. The left side. There's four guys over there by themselves. <laughs> they slipped by. I'll All right, 40 yard field goal. You can do this. Take Ryan. the points. So, being from uh, outside of Philly, would you say it's always sunny in Philadelphia is an accurate representation of? Uh, what you grew what up with. Oh, we yeah, actually wrote happened. a song called It's Never Sunny in South Philadelphia. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that actually, that show actually does a pretty decent job. Like, uh, especially the Mac character. Like, I, I mean, obviously he's like a super hyperbolized version of it. Sure. But of like that type of South Philly guy. So like, like, like weirdly conservative, but like not really sure why. Yeah. Uh -huh. Also doesn't realize he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Like, Country religious, but, like, there was a great, like, who said it, Ben Carson or Mac from It's Always Sunny the other day. <laughs> <laughs> and that really illustrated the point. I can see, like, Trump or Frank, like, saying stuff. <laughs> I bet that that's one, too. Yeah. The internet will do all of those. BuzzFeed made a million dollars doing that. Yep. <laughs> this week, I'm sure. Yeah, this week, <laughs> exactly. Click here to find out how. Oh, shit. It's me. Oh, oh, oh. Get it. Oh, 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 no, no. oh, son, you got... Oh. There you are, swallow it up. I'm just going to stop here. 30 yards, Josh. That's huh. a nice return. Let's Jack, are see. you going to win your fantasy football uh, game this weekend? Uh, I don't know. Who am I playing this weekend? Do I don't know? know. This might be too complicated of a play for me to run with two people <laughs> playing, but I am going to try. Let's do it. Look, I don't have time to explain to you. Yeah. Just, just I think Dan it. understands plays. He doesn't just hit A, X, or Y. Yeah, it's going to yeah, whatever. Uh, never mind. They're blitzing that safety. Do you see how the the <laughs> weak side safety just dropped into the box? Yeah. He knows things. Yeah, we can't let that happen. This ball's coming to you. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. All right, I just fucking... Oh. I zigged oh, right into Oh, you knee. broke him. Nah, he'll be fine. He's all right. He's going to oh. live. He, walked, well, he stumbled a little. Second and inches. We held him, we held him under it. 10, Ryan. That was good. Thanks, I accidentally picked good. Yeah, I was gonna say earlier, you were saying that San Antonio and Austin do about the same. Yeah, they're both great, or like, they're really, yeah, they're both great markets for us. Yeah. Austin's um, kind of a tough city, just because 
There's so much music. There's so, and everybody has their head up their ass about how we're the live music capital of yeah. the world, and we've got the dumb festivals and stuff. Did, so did you know like, that? Did you know that Austin is quote unquote the live music capital of the world? Self-proclaimed. I've heard it a couple of times. Yeah. What that means, no one's really sure. But yeah, it means that we're assholes. It means we got some. But we also tore down like all of our really amazing venues. Well, Emos is gone. Liberty Lunch is, is gone. Emos was Steamboat's my favorite. Gone. Emos is it exists. It just exists in a shitty part of town that nobody goes to. We saw Envy play the small room at Emos, and it was one of the coolest shows I've ever been oh, to. Oh yeah. We just happened to have Man, an I saw off some day great shows there. To be there. I saw Childish Gambino at Emos Outdoor. I was thinking about him today. That was an amazing show. Did you think about giving him a call? Or? I don't know him, <laughs> uh, but I was thinking about um, he freestyles over the Drake pound cake beat, mm. and it's uh, one of my favorite like videos on the internet. Oh, oh man! Oh, there he goes. They got me. Slip through. Best show I ever saw at Emos was 1995, and it was Fear doing a reunion show for the first time in like nine years. Man, that was pretty. That doesn't mean anything to you, Jack, but it was a fucking awesome show. Uh, and then next weekend, uh, Meatman plays. Does Lozona Rosa, Lozona Rosa still exist? Who cares? <laughs> I never I saw, liked that venue. Dude, I saw Orbital play there back in like the... You saw who? Orbital. I don't the, uh, the techno band from Europe. That means nothing to me. They did the song, the, uh, the, the hacker song, Calcion right? and yeah. on and on and on and on song. Uh-huh. It was in the Mortal Kombat. It was, it was, it was coming in the Mortal you, Kombat. Uh, right. Run exactly straight where you are. All right. Kind of slower than you would originally. Just gonna right over. Nope. Oh, nope. what it come from behind? It's a little there. slower. Greg Hardy. So that's a trap block. So the left side guard is pulling to the strong God, side. God, you're like a fucking football things. scientist. I really <laughs> like football. So God, yeah, I don't play video games much. No, I don't play video games. I really like football. <laughs> See, I enjoy watching football, but I never played, and I just you know just watched it on TV. I played when I was really young, and uh, at first I was pretty good at it, and then I I couldn't gain any weight. No. I was still like 55 pounds, and everyone else was like 85 pounds. So you picked up some instruments? So yeah, so around like the eighth grade, I started playing punk rock instead. Nice. <laughs> and then at a certain point, that became my job, and so it became important to um, find a hobby again, yeah. I guess. Because <laughs> when your hobby is your job, that's awesome, oh. until you have a bad day at work, and then there's no hobby to go to, and yeah. just everything is bad. Oh well, yeah, that's we, true. That's we know that game. True. It's like we play video games all day. I go home. I don't want to play video games. And it's it's like, what do I do with my life? Planet, I don't yeah. Want to do. There's some days it's like, yo, this is awesome. I'm in a band for a living. That's like the coolest job I could ever imagine. It's what I've always wanted. Yeah. But then you have a bad day at work and you're like, what do I do now? <laughs> Who is the worst band you've ever experienced? Oh! <laughs> get, it. get it, get it, get it. Nice. Oh, uh, the right, worst band we've ever experienced. Like, is there, have you ever run across us like an absolute cocksuckers? We've run across <laughs> a really, like, not that they're bad I got a people. Few. But the weirdest band I've ever been on tour with, like the people that were like the most different humans to me were a band called the Supervillains. Okay. And that was on that tour with Streetlight. And they're just like, they are all of the things that I said that we aren't. Like they are like party guys. Oh man. They like to do that kind of thing. And it, it was just weird for us. So if you could tour with anyone, who, who would you want to tour with? Our favorite band on tour is a band called Fireworks. They're our, just our best friends from Detroit. Oh cool. Uh, and they're on a hiatus right now. so. That leaves us in a... I always answer that question well, the not, same way, and I always say fireworks. Not very considerate of them for you, is it? Yeah, right? That's what I keep oh, telling them. All right, this is going to be that swing pass out to you again. Yep. I just had to audible to it, so try to stick close to the sideline. Aye, aye, Professor. <laughs> Follow that block. Uh, there, were, oh. there we go. Two-minute warning. Two-minute warning. So uh, I have some friends who started a band called Pirates of Darkwater. That was a metal band. And then uh, they left that and started up another band called The Sword, which actually got oh, really? really, really popular. Yeah, we did. Uh, Are they still around? We did Australia a festival know. with them, and we were on the same flight. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Brian Ritchie, he's a good dude. But uh, well, actually, everyone was on the same flight. It was they had to charter a plane oh, wow. to get the whole festival from Adelaide to Perth. Oh yeah, yeah. So it was literally like one whole flight full of uh, different guys and different bands. Huh. Jack, I think I made a mistake. Right. Oh, oh, get to oh, him! Oh, oh, nice. That was All a right. bad throw. Actually, it wasn't bad. Um, but yeah, like they ended up. Uh, so Brian, he texted. Or like, I guess they were playing in LA somewhere, 
and uh, Lars from Metallica was there. Yeah, they opened for it. They did uh, yeah, early and, on. They did. And Lars was like, "Hey, I like you guys. Do you want to go play with us?" And so they did like a European tour with Metallica. And he was like sending us photos of him hanging out like James Hetfield and Lars. Jeff, you think we'd like, go for it? I don't want to punt awesome. this far. Let's fucking go for it, dude. We're in their territory. It's a really long, but like it's a video game. It, you're right. <laughs> and at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter who wins. Well, I mean, oh, as long as we win. Right. <laughs> the audience wins, Jeff. Eh, I don't know if the audience Run. is number one. We've, uh, go, we've go pushed up. that one about as far as we can, I think. The audience winning? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't think we convinced them. So they have two high safeties here. You see the two of them up there? Yep. I'm going to try to split them with Brent Selleck and see what happens. Nope, they're coming in like it's a cover six. Oh, and, my God. Uh, throw. And it's that easy. Well, flag. there's a flag again. This is the second time this has happened yes. to us. Oh, uh, do it. No, this one's on you. Take it back. Oh, no. Come on. Take it back. Holding. Defense. Defense? What? Defensive holding? What? Bullshit. Yeah, that's a decline. Uh, <laughs> how, how do I get that guy off the team? Yeah, What's the button for that guy goes home today with no money? <laughs> and a repossess his car. And a break his knees. That's Jesus a 30 for 30. Is that like X? 30 for 30. I got my knees broken in a yeah. video game. What if I told you? All right. If Greg mistake. Hardy rushes, I'm going to take the option. And then when the safety drops down, you're going to get pitched to the ball. So kind of just stay with me. I love that he's giving yeah, these instructions in front of you guys, things. and it doesn't matter. Go. Oh, my God. Go. Go. Run, you He's go. so Run, good you at this. Go. It's go. unfair. <laughs> He's better at video games than we are. I've, well, he's like he plays one video game. I'm, and I'm like a football nerd. Like I've read like <laughs> I've read four books in the last year on on like football theory. Oh my god! <laughs> so you're like the money ball of Why? football. Why? I really like football. <laughs> you're the, you're the Billy what not Billy Listen, Banks. Listen, Ryan. Billy, there's nothing yeah. more punk rock than football. Right? <laughs> I think we can all agree. You know, I all told you I had when it got to a point where this my job was playing music. I needed a hobby really bad. All right. <laughs> so who's one of the Super Bowl this year? Uh, the Patriots. Yeah, that's yeah, correct. Patriots. It's just Tom. This is Tom, Tom Brady's. Brady's I'm pissed off year. Screw everyone. Yep. I've got a uh, Tom Brady and Philip Rivers in my fantasy team, so I have the number two and quarterback the, backing up the number one. Yeah, quarterback. And you're still getting beat by me. And Brady's on. <laughs> or Brady's bye is over. No, we are right? not tied, yep. my friend. He's bye. His bye is gone. We're tied except the fact that I beat you. You have the heads up victory, yes, but we but we both have two losses for the season. But you and I are leading our divisions respectively. That's true. For now. All right. I got my fucking ass handed to me last week. Not as bad as you, though. Yeah, I had a rough <laughs> week. You got, like, you got uh, doubled. You see oh. where 65 is? Uh, yeah. You're going to run towards it. Okay. God damn it. Ah, ah you son of a bitch. You, I didn't know, know you could do that. What? <laughs> he totally drew me off sides. My controller vibrated, and I hit the trigger, and he jumped off side. I was trying to get you to show if it was a blitz or not. Ah. Even we don't know. It, it totally was a blitz. Does anybody know? Oh, no, I got it. For what it's worth, I don't know what plays we're running because Ryan's running it and he's not telling me anything. Well, I, I don't know so. what it, <laughs> it, was, it was a blitz, wasn't okay. it? <laughs> I don't know. I see two blitzes Jack. on that board, so there's a two, third, two, or two thirds I chance. I picked the one with the most arrows. So you, I, you, I'm, are you running I'm zone Greg in the Hardy fucking again? goal? Okay. Who's I on that left know. corner? Uh, we'll see what happens with him. Jesus. Them. I hope they're not running. Okay, go. Oh. Yep, they're running. Oh, Ooh, good stop. Uh, so yeah, you guys no, played a night in San Antonio? Everything yeah, blitz. we played a night in San Antonio. What, I gotta, we what's have a the VIP. venue? Uh, it's called Alamo City Music Hall. Hmm. I don't know if we've ever played it before. Yeah, I haven't heard of it. I haven't been to a show in San Antonio in probably 12 years, though. What? Is, that, is that play Good Luck Man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good Luck Man. Uh, Do you have a hard stop at time you need to get out of here? What? Goal Line Man is what that was. Yeah. Not Good Luck. Let's see. I would say they're changing things. They got don't don't let them look at the clock. They looked at the clock. He threw the oh, ball. Oh, it was a bad. You got to pick that off. Come oh. on, man. That was a bad decision. That would have been a pick six. You uh, would have gone all the way if you would have grabbed it. Three five. seconds left in okay. this half, too. It'll probably take you 90 minutes to get back. I would assume. Yeah, it's about what it took me to get here. And if I don't get the the rental car back in time, uh, we're totally fucked. Because <laughs> that's well, the spirit. This, I mean, that blows the entire budget. It's for like the a tour. 25 minute game. It, Madden and I have kind of a, a hard stop too because I got another shoot. Yeah, we're we're 25 here. minutes in right now. We're halfway done. So today yeah. is one of those weird days that happens once a year where you I get a to bunch hang out of with things. a cool punk rock dude, and then I'm gonna go film Stevo flipping upside down and 
I'm doing a, a notably a bad ball. job of trying to keep up the conversation, though, because I'm so interested in the game. I don't want to get shown up that badly. That's the That's uh, it's the trade-off when you play video games and talk for a living. You kinda... oh, get him, Jack! Oh! No! Oh! You failed. Oh, that was so close. I was That's, at his uh, ankles. You, you guys can either be good, good at a video really... game, or you can be good at talking while playing a video game. You guys yeah. seem like you're good at both of them, especially since this is a game you've never played before, really. Well, we played it once. once well, we played, we played, once, played it we played, once. Yeah, we played it once a year. Once a year. What's the big game for you guys? Uh, GTA and Minecraft are our big games. We're not good at those either. If that's yeah, we're also terrible at those. Yeah, GTA is like it's kind of our bread and butter. We put out one of those. There's a lowrider DLC that is added to GTA. We spent an hour just making cars today. Oh, so you can like customize the cars? Yeah, yeah. And you can put hydraulics in it and put hydros on them. You can pop the trunk and put sound systems in them. And it's pretty stupid. Oh, we just went ahead and moved on to all right. Yeah, we're in the second half now. But. Essentially, we have to play every video. Have to. We are required to play every video game that comes out. Our, our, our label life. calls us and tells us we have yeah. to play every. You gotta game. play yeah. it. Well, so I told you I got that, that story where I got the PlayStation me, Four, Jack. and yeah. I I was trying to play. Uh. Um, <laughs> Ryan. I was trying to play The Last of Us <laughs> okay. because I heard it's like incredible. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm so I, I can't aim the gun. Every time I'm in like a there's like a showdown of some sort, I get killed almost instantly. Last of Us, I've never played the single player, but the multiplayer is fucking Last of Us amazing. starts in Austin of all places. I'm well, near Austin. Really, really bad at it. Great game though. It is a great game. Multiplayer is really fun that game too. I imagine you should it's hard uh, to do on a you should bus. try if since you got the PS4, you should right try bumper. until dawn. Right. That's a lot of fun. Damn it. Uh -oh. and it doesn't require a lot of skill, it's just more of a story. Until Dawn? There you go. Until Dawn, yeah. So the other thing, though, is The Last of Us, like, stressed me out. Well, Until Dawn will stress you out, too. Yeah, see, I don't... If stress is a problem, maybe not. I don't yeah. do scary anything. Oh, yeah. Stay I don't, away from Until Dawn. Yeah, I won't watch... Oh, yeah, I, I don't watch harm. I have enough really? stress see, I'm, I'm like just too, waking up in the morning. Like, that's how... <laughs> I have enough anxiety just existing. I don't need to add to it with anything. You sound like a really fun guy. Yeah. I'm a blast, You man. sound very punk rock. I'm really low-key. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not wired crazy. So look, give me give me your five favorite punk bands of all time. Uh, ooh, of all time. Um, well, it depends on what you're going to call punk, because I'm going to call the Get Up Kids punk. Uh, okay, I would, yeah, I would not. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so it's like... Is if you want to, if we're just talking like the Sex Pistols and the Ramones, but I, if if you're talking about like my five, I'm just gonna give you my five yeah, favorite bands fun. because we're barely a punk band. The Offspring. Um, my five favorite Nest, bands are the Get Up Kids, Rip the Hold Upper, Steady, Rip Upper, Rip Upper. the Weaker Thans. Oh, I can't believe you caught that. Get up, get Weaker up, keep running. Great band. That's you. I know. I was um, telling him to get up. The Mountain Goats. The Mountain Goats. I love the Mountain Goats. Uh, oh, this is. For I love perception. Brand New. Uh, I love Rilo like, Kiley. Brand like, New's on the... Uh, Rilo Kiley, that's... Uh, no, Brand New I, I just started their own label. Oh, okay. Is the, the word on the street about that. Rilo Kiley is, uh, what's her name? Jenny Lewis. Jenny Lewis. Lewis. Guy from Do you know where Jenny Lewis, uh, where she got her first taste of fame? Here we was go. it Salute Your Shorts? She was in The Wizard. The Wizard. With Fred Savage. The other oh, guy. And Christian Slater. The other guy from Rilo Kiley was on Salute Your Shorts. Really? Yeah, they're like a band of child stars. Huh. I did not know that. Hmm. Mm. So oh, what when, I just did. Like you were telling me before the oh, before the, we started playing. Oh, that, stay on your oh, feet. Stay oh, on your oh, feet, big boy. You got a PS4 Black. by agreeing to DJ an emo night. Yeah, so they in where was it in? In Cleveland. So in Cleveland. emo. So this used to be a big thing. What is this? Personal foul. What is that against? Illegal block in the back. Oh, oh yeah, we're gonna accept that all oh, day. Oh, Randall. What do you play um, when you play emo night? Like, do you play like Rites of Spring emo? No, or that's Sunny not day what they want. Day, they or? want uh, Taking Back Sunday. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So we. The, it used to be a big thing in England and Australia. Emo night was a huge thing, or the, I think they just call them, they they just call it a club night. Yeah. Uh oh. That was uh, my fault. Nice. I totally blew that. That's oh, all you, Ryan. Got it. There you the go. Run, That's go Mother run, Jason. Run, right fast trigger. Button. Right trigger, Ryan. No, don't no. spin. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yes. I, that was totally 100% my fault. I thought that he was uh, the thrown to the running back. Uh, Jason it's all right. I was on coverage from him. You I pulled fucks. off. Uh, I can't believe my accent me out. spin worked <laughs> out for me. Yeah, I thought you totally ruined that. Um, so it used to be a big thing in those countries, and it's just starting to come to America now, where it's just like... There's a big one in L.A., a big one in New York, and uh, the rest of my guys just DJed the one in L.A. And really, you just show up with a playlist on Spotify full of, like, Taking Back Sunday and Fall Out Boy songs, and <laughs> people get wasted and dance around to them and have the time of their lives. Just be happy, sad. Yeah, there's, uh, they sell a T-shirt oh, of one of them that just shit. says sad as fuck on it. 
<laughs> so does it know it's tongue in cheek? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh yeah. yeah. It's it's yeah. like it's a so it's a nostalgia thing. Black I think. Parade. Yeah. It was like my first kickoff. A lot of <laughs> a lot of like late in the game AFI. So you said you've been to twenty five different countries in the, what, the past year? Or what? You no, no, no. In the past, uh, probably in the past, the past five. Years. Okay, okay. So what, what's your favorite countries out of that? Here we go. Uh, he wants you to say Australia because that's no, where his wife's from. Honestly, yeah. that was gonna be the first thing I said. See, I had nothing to do oh, with it. It's yeah. deadly paradise. It everything there awesome. is awesome, but everything there also will kill you. That's true. It's like Florida, everything will murder you in Australia. Uh, Australia is awesome. Japan what do you guys was play? really like, cool. Like, like just the major cities, like, or do you play festivals out there? In Australia, yeah. we played. Um, oh, oh no! Oh, you guys—he did fuck. a move. No, no he didn't yeah. move off of him. Oh. oh. Thank you, AI. I'm sorry. It Australia, we played Adelaide, so Sydney, Melbourne, Perth. Uh, we played Byron Bay. We played Gold Coast. And you like Melbourne Gold Coast the most, fun. obviously. Um, <laughs> it's okay. yeah, actually. Melbourne's no. a great fucking town. Sydney's great. Uh, we went to... I think Sydney's great the first time you go. Yeah, we Melbourne's, went to, uh, to Manly for the first time ever in Sydney, and that was awesome. Wait, there's a place called Manly in Australia? Yeah, it's, wow. uh, it's just like a little island that you take. Like, you take a ferry basically from the Opera House. It's not an island, it's a peninsula, but it's separate from the rest oh, of Sydney. Oh, shit, I've been there. And there's like a really awesome little like cove. Um, it's a great spot. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, right, I think I went yeah. there in 2010. I'm really excited by that. I don't know how you ended up as uh, as the tight end. Uh, I can probably change. Oh, get him! That. Oh. Oh no! Oh, they drew damn us in. Screen. Screen. Doesn't seem to be get necessary. Get him, Jack! Oh, strip it! No one of stripping it. Stop trying to strip it. Man, that was a great screen. <laughs> For a second there, I My blockers didn't get out in front as fast as I would have liked, though. Have you ever played uh, Beirut or Syria? No. No. Uh, no Mogadishu? We, the, probably you, the weirdest places we played are... We played Moscow. Oh, wow. Um, and they let you leave? Yeah, <laughs> we played Moscow, and we were supposed to play St. Petersburg, and it got canceled. We played a weird place called Vladimir. <laughs> Which is like a, a Moscow suburb. Uh, we're almost out of time here. Uh, all right. The Cowboys defense now is going to go nickel. Oh, no. Oh, that was oh. a really bad pass. Was in the we got we this. played Bangkok, which was cool. Was it was it probably only about 80 people there, but they were so stoked that there was a band there. Yeah. There was like holes in the stage. Like That's fun. <laughs> it was a cool show. So like, those are the fun ones. So it was like almost famous. Your favorite movie of all time? My favorite movie of all time is unabashedly, unequivocally, and without hesitation, forgetting Sarah Marshall. <laughs> wow, good one. So you're all about uh, Russell I, Brand. I'll you're often about, refer to sorrow. it as the greatest film ever made. I just yeah. watched that the other day, actually. It's a great Ooh, film. It's a pretty good film. Oh, oh come him, on, get him, Demarco. What is it? What is the Jonah Hill line, Jack? That we always say. <laughs> I feel terrible. Oh, no, it's... Oh, I feel terrible. Oh, when he gives him the demo. Yeah. He's, yeah. Is that... he's a major, major influence on me now. <laughs> God, that lasted for months when we did it with Gavin. Yeah, it did. We have a British guy who works here that we enjoy. Uh, well, me in particular Ordering? enjoys picking fun at him. Guess we'll go with yeah, that he's a real one. piece of shit. <laughs> Jeff, we're running the same play here, okay. by the way. Uh, I, they're going up the middle, right? <laughs> no, no, not the not the same play we just ran. The uh, this is the same play that scored. Actually, we're in bad shape to run it. I don't because he's got that I free think. blitzer on the outside. But we'll see if he bites. I don't. Uh, I don't go know, left don't for the love Wait, of Christ! Oh, that's a penalty. Out of bounds! Out of bounds! What just happened? That should be a penalty. Yeah, he stepped out of bounds. No good. It should have been how a penalty because he, he was out and no came idea. back in. Yeah, that doesn't count. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know why that know. wasn't a penalty. Should we take the points Maybe or do you want to try to score here? He's like fucking score. Deflected right. off of him. He didn't actually catch it. Well, no, because if you run out of bounds and run back in and catch it, especially with well, a touchdown. he didn't touchdown. catch it, though. No, he did. He did catch it. Yeah. I don't know how he ran out of bounds first. I saw him kind of coming back he ran in. Out of back was the like, end zone, That's yeah. no good. That is illegal. That's bull. These refs are paid off. The offense still on the field here on fourth down. John McClain. Oh. Right. That was normally a, a field goal time. I should have been ready for that. Well, they're not kicking the field goal right I know, but. I didn't know that. No! Oh, there we go. He didn't bite on that play action at all. <laughs> yep. Sean Lee, you're not allowed to play football. You just had another concussion. What are you <laughs> shh, doing here? Shh. Look how long as that long as one of his is. eyes works, we're okay. 
All right, Ryan, we got like right, seven well, minutes to that run out. Better. Yeah, that was a mistake. See, if he had bit on it, Ryan Matthews was wide open in the flat. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't bite on it, though. All passes. Romo, Are you the Romo. only football player in the band, or is everybody else into it, too? Uh, my bassist is really into it. My guitar player is really into it. One of my guitar players. The other guys are not so much. We're going to go to the... Uh, what is it? The Falcons Colt game next week. Oh, because we just we have a day off and we're in, um, we're in Atlanta. Oh no! Oh, oh, damn, Ryan, right. right. that's all you. That's all you. No, no, no. leave me alone. Leave me alone. Turns out I'm bad oh, at defense. Ref's gonna make a pick for you. Ben, <laughs> wow, that Ryan, was you're a lucky monster. motherfucker. Eighty-nine yard touchdown. That was wow, brutal. Right. I don't know who blew that coverage. That wasn't me that time. You can go ahead and blame Jeff for any of your failures. I'll take all the blame. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's fine. So do you guys do any covers when you play? Like anything, uh, like, fun? The only cover we're doing right now is we do, the, like, a VIP set. So before the actual show starts, for anywhere between, like, 50 and 75 people, we do another acoustic set. Oh, wow. We, we bring out a separate PA, a little, like, cocktail drum kit. And, uh, and during that, we play Title and Registration by Death Cab for Cutie. Oh, okay. But for the most part, no, no covers. So do you avoid the covers like consciously or is it just like like you're not a fan of them? Uh, we just we have five records out, four that we play songs off of, plus probably another full record worth of B sides. Wow. And we only get to play an hour and fifteen minutes, so it's like we're just trying to get in as many songs that people want to hear yeah. as yeah. we can. So what was like the first time you went up on stage and like the audience sang along with you to one of your hits? The first time that I can really remember it. Uh, there was a show we played in Orlando. The first time I remember it being outside of like our hometown, we played a show in Orlando, and uh, I was just like kind of totally in awe of the fact that it was happening. It was just like yeah, yeah. Because when we started the band, the goal was play a show outside of our hometown. Just uh, any. How do we call timeout? Uh, select. Uh, I call, guess we don't need to. It's what do you call timeout? I, I thought it was still in the first half. Sorry. <laughs> You lose attention to detail when you're paying more attention to the conversation. Orlando's an oddly decent music city, too. Eh. Yeah, it's always been pretty cool to us. Like, I lived out there for a while, and I remember, like, going to concerts was actually a big thing. We, it was at this place called the Black Box Collective. It was, like, just a shell of a building that a bunch of punk dudes took over and, like, built a half pipe outside, and it was all graffiti and hmm. in the middle of a field in the middle of nowhere. Um, <laughs> I mean, it was in Orlando, but it wasn't, like... In a part of the, like a recognizable part of the town. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not Do you guys have a favorite here. place to play? Outside of Philly? Outside of Philly? Um, Chicago, probably. Chicago's a good city. Chicago's really? a good city. The shows are always awesome. Are you friends with Victory Records at all or any of those dudes? Uh, the only guy I knew that worked at Victory was a dude named Double J, who is their art director. <laughs> uh, and I don't know him. I mean, like, I haven't seen him in um, in years. Uh, this is a bad play call. I shouldn't do that. That's a bad play call, too. <laughs> it's weird playing. It's like, it's like playing, like, uh, you know, something like oh, Call of Duty with someone who knows what they're doing. For us, Jack. Oh, I fell down. Oh, you just, you just dropped it. Brent you Selleck, guys, man. Brent Selleck. I, I think it may be closed, but did you guys ever play the Fireside Bowl in Chicago? No, that was closed before we started mm. getting there. When we were booking our own tours, um, I couldn't get a show in Chicago. Yeah. I tried and I tried and I tried, and uh, we always ended up playing, like, <clears throat> probably, I don't know, 40 minutes outside of the city was, like, the usual thing. Yeah. God, I bet it's a fucking relief not to have to book your own shows anymore. It really, the stress on that, because when it was just, like, it was me doing it. So then we would get, if it was a bad show or, like, there was no show, which would happen a lot, like, you'd show up to a venue and just the guy that you were talking to the last three months would just not answer his phone and that was it. God. Um, Jesus. And then, like, you feel like you let the rest of your guys down. Oh, shit. They fucking hate you all of a sudden. Yeah, it's like. Oh, oh, no, no, go, no. Right, we got go. This. Oh. Get there, Jack. You're in. Get there, Jack. It's over. Dive. You had Ryan. No. Oh. oh. Not quite there yet. Yeah, I experienced that a few times. Like, we went to, uh, 
fucking Lawrence City, Kansas on a tour one time and the show fell apart and like you have that like six hour scramble where you try to find a new place to play and you're like yeah. run to Kinko's to make flyers and oh we see that all the time we used to do that even if we did have a show we would print out a bunch of flyers and keep them in a binder before the tour started just run straight ahead Oh, oh, oh bullshit. Ball did, not, ball did not cross. Do it again. Ah, no. Oh, shit. No. Uh, <laughs> if you're there and it's not working, try pressing Y. No, don't. Don't press Y. Ah. Uh, no, no. <laughs> um, yeah, we would, we would just be like, oh, we're playing Long Island this weekend. I'd print out a bunch of flyers, and we'd go up super early and go to a mall and just flyer with, like, headphones. <laughs> we'd give people headphones, like, check the band out. Please listen to us. Please, God, come to the show. I don't want to play to no one. We did a show in North Carolina where, like, a single person showed up, oh. and the venue was like, we're just not going to have this. <laughs> just I, leave, So did you, like, please. take that one that one person out to, like, dinner or something? Like, all right. Well. They weren't even there to see us. Oh. Uh, they were there to see, like, one of the local bands. I have a similar story. When, uh, when I was on tour with Catch-22 in Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, there was, like, a local band that played of high school kids, and there were, like, four people in the audience to see them. They left. And every single person left, and it was just us. And so they're like, I guess we'll play by ourselves. And then one kid came back and sat down and watched the show. And I went over to him, and I was like, dude, I, I just want to thank you for, for fucking sticking around. If you want, like, a free CD or something, just let me know. I'll hook you up, because it was really cool. Uh, and he goes, I didn't stay to see you guys. My friends left me, and my mom doesn't get off work till 10. <laughs> so, oh. so fuck you. Don't, you. you don't want the CD. And he's wow. like, no. And he just sat there and scowled. So mad. Those are great. Those are great, <laughs> great memories to have. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. yeah absolutely. <laughs> fucking salad days. Yeah, the halcyon days of, uh, of touring. <laughs> ah, fleeting youth. Stop. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's God. a big dude. Flag. Oh, Face mask. Whatever. Personal foul. I don't know what that flag could be. Yeah, Hand it came in late. really late. Uh, uh, late hit. Quarterback. Hair braiding. Personal foul. No. All right, face mask. I called it. What? I think that's against them. No. Hit A, Ryan. Hit X. Michael Kennedy. You declined not... it? Uh... Ryan! <laughs> <laughs> You're brilliant. <laughs> All right. Oh, I picked a different play. <laughs> Two minute warning. All right. All right. We got to make some moves here, man. I know. It's uh, time for the halftime speech. Full eyes, cold hearts, or whatever. What is it? Clear eyes, full hearts, man. Full Please eyes. respect Friday yeah, night cold lights. hearts. Dead heart, black eyes. <laughs> Friday Night Lights is deserving of your respect. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually filmed right here. It's one of my favorite shows of all time. Never seen an episode. No James Vanderveek, not interesting. Oh, jump and grab oh! that. Oh, we lost it. We just broke Ertz. that guy's spine. We broke Ertz's spine. He died spine. for nothing, Scandic. We baned him. <laughs> this is it, Ryan. I, this is what? Now there's too much this, pressure. This is a massive third down right here. Third and 17. You're a massive third down. We're on you the, same, the team. same team. You the same team, asshole. <laughs> yeah. A critical moment in this game. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> you're just here so you don't get fined, right? Is that what you're, you're here for? That's right. I think they're throwing it. I think oh, they're, they're oh. going to throw it to that open spot that Jesus. I left conveniently for them to throw <laughs> it to. Thank you. That was just you guys being nice. Yeah. Look, I declined Thanks. penalties. So I we leave play, giant holes. <laughs> we, we have a once-a-year rivalry where we play this, right? Yeah, we play and the Super Bowl. this year, it went okay. The year before, Jack threw 13 interceptions. It was the Broncos versus who, uh, who was the other Super Bowl team? I don't remember. No one will remember them because they lost. I'm actually so surprised they're having more interceptions yes, in this Day. game. I threw a couple of really Day. bad balls. It was, br and we still almost won. Oh, no, it was the around. Seahawks. That's what it was. It was the almost won is really pushing. There you go. Uh, all right. Try it. Look, I have a 50% success They're rate. They're not biting on They're just. The quarterback. They're totally over the play action. They're yeah. just. They know I'm going to throw the ball. Yeah. We just don't stop. I like that he's taking cleverness for randomness. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, no, clearly. <laughs> he's he's giving us, by every move. He's giving us nah. way too much credit right now. <laughs> the coach suggestions are really good today. Algal Holor. You got some dude from Oops. Game of Thrones on well, the left side. Down. Oh, oh he he was head. Head. All right. I don't know what to say about that. I apologize. <laughs> Bonk. Not sure how to not make that happen. Uh, where are we right now? Oh, we are in bad shape. Yeah, we're not doing great. He <laughs> bounced uh, off that guy's head. It's amazing. All right. So last time it was third and 17, and they got it with no problem. Yeah. So how are we going to let them have it this time, Ryan? Well, 
that where's guy the, looks the really hole? sweaty. I'm hoping oh, wait, Ryan, I think Meg is calling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dear. See, that's a funny joke, Dan, because uh, our British guy, his girlfriend damn, works ah, here. damn it, Ryan! And well, Ryan I and her are kind of having an flag. affair. And it's that's like not a funny, that's like, ha, ha, ha. That's but we think it's probably true. going on. That Ryan's really does some serious damage. So he's a real piece of shit. I don't like that at all. Yeah. Guys, I don't like that at all. Is that penalty against us? Are you kidding me? Okay. It's happening in front of everybody's Hey. I, I don't know what he's saying over there, but it sounds slang. Ryan's wife probably believe. doesn't like it either. Block in the back. That's, none of that is true. Oh, your wife does like it? No, that's you're going the wrong way with it. I bet your kids don't like it either. My, my Papa, why me. are you on the sofa tonight? <laughs> Daddy, do you not like mom? Do me a favor. Switch your guy to that somebody. Statement coming hip, up. hip B. There we go. She is confused as to why Meg gets to pick my shoes. Ah. There we go. Your girl who's Jesus. Oh, wow. Oh, well, that's a face mask. A that might be a I don't know, that might be a hold. I you know, hold I on feel a run? like I was held. Hmm. Personal foul face, face mask. mask. Called it. Way to go, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and accept First that. First you ruined your marriage, now you're ruining the game. <laughs> well they're in field goal range now, Ryan. Is that what you wanted? No, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not Is the that stupid. what you that wanted? Guy's the stupid. You're the face masker. You should have Probably. stopped him behind the line. I don't know what I picked, by the way. I think I just picked a random play. <laughs> I like that you're picking our defense before they have an offense. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> I'm picking well, what I... Well, you know. That's how football <laughs> you know. works. Yeah, exactly. They run the defense out first, they line up, and then the <laughs> offense goes. All right. So are you guys touring in support of a new album right now? Or? We are. Yeah. We have a record out now uh, called No Closer to Heaven. Oh, my God. He's in, right? Hey, he looked yeah. like he was in. You got it. Uh, that came out... Okay, I'm good on the goal September line. September 4th. All right, put your okay, How on, important right? are album sales now to you as the landscape of the music uh, industry? It's changed. important to a bunch Clearly. of things. Like, it's obviously like it's different than it used to be. Yeah. Like, it's not going to work the same way it used to. Booth, Booth review. Oh, oh nice. Bullshit. He was in. Uh, he was 100 percent out. Well, let's see. Let's see where his feet were. Oh, he was out. That Shut was up. so out. He had. He had one foot. Like, like. Hold on. Down session. and then. No, that's in. Out. It roll. He oh, rolls out. it into the line. Out is relative. Yeah. What is reality? <laughs> <laughs> right, he's get back. Existential with me. There are jobs on Brent the line. Brent Selick, you cheating you son of a bitch. Don't what? All right. Well, why are you talking over the really ref? Field's reversed. Ah. Uh, All right. Does the, does the world still revolve around <coughs> sound scan numbers? Wait, just, so no, it's happening? still important the first week to. Uh, oh, I don't know because the label says it is. <laughs> <laughs> We had a good first week. We were the number nine selling record in America. Nice. nice. Uh, That's awesome. And we missed number eight by 35 copies. So oh, each of you wow. not buying one contributed to <laughs> Who that. was number eight? Uh, Scarface. Oh, wow. Like Ghetto Boy Scarface? Yes. Now, if you're going to get beaten by anybody. Well, he might actually murder you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come oh, get down. Yeah, there you go. Selick is killing me right now. Um, oh, we got to get to the So line. do you guys actually have records or is it just like CDs? Just CDs right, and MPs? No, we have records. Captain Vinyl. I love vinyl. Like, I got big yeah. vinyl because I'm a super hipster. They're blitzing nerd. both safeties. That's probably good. Oh, oh no, they were just it. showing that they were blitzing both safeties. Oh, oh, oh what? That. That's oh, a touchdown. My God. That's a oh, touchdown. He's holding that guy's that's crotch. what the kids got in it there. Philadelphia let's call a touchdown. Oh, that's bullshit. To use the uh, parlance of our times. All right, Ryan, we got, we got uh, 30 time. seconds. Lots of time. 20, we got 23 seconds. And we got three timeouts, though. So. Look, Jack, I'd like to say that I've delivered us the opportunity for glory. Is that what it is? Yes. Cold? It's all this, the entire game has been leading up Cold to this. Cold hearts. Have you ever eyes. met Can't Dan? Win. Have yeah. you ever met Lady Gaga? No. no. Would you know no, if no. you had? Well, there goes that. Line I of think so. The the um, we don't meet a ton of like. I remember when my my friends were in a band called The Starting Line, mm -hmm. and they would be like, "Oh, we just met Jay Z and Beyonce," or like, "We just met Justin Timberlake." We have some cool friends, but most of them are professional wrestlers. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. It's like Mankind is your buddy. Uh, Seth Rollins is one of our really good friends who was the WWE champion go, go, uh, until Get last away. week. How are he you unfortunately with John Cena? blew his ACL. Uh, John and I are not on speaking terms right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I've never met. I mean, we aren't on speaking terms, but that's because I don't know him. <laughs> totally different reason. <laughs> For a different yeah. reason. I didn't we've do never anything. We, we were just never on speaking terms, terms is the yeah. problem with John and I. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's the first step. But uh, Seth actually, like, last week blew out his ACL. Um, oh, yeah. So he's okay. out six to nine months, which is unfortunate because he really is the best in the game, and they're going to miss him. 
Jeez. Yeah, you really want to no the wildcat. Yeah, That's wildcat. What you want to run the want. wildcat. Jesus, <laughs> is that what I picked? We'll get Joseph Randall to throw a touchdown. This would be great. So you don't ever play the WWE What's games then? Uh, I do play That's those. The, 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 sometimes I haven't gotten the new one. Just came out, and I haven't gotten it yet. It's it's pretty good. Why? 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 Oh, that's another one. Uh, right. That's another one that we play once Time a year. Out. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it you guys. Would, very I figured well you guys us. would have a blast with the creator aspect. Oh, we do. Oh, do you guys Absolutely. create yourselves? We, we should show you the first like two minutes of our video. <laughs> I would watch that. I'd happily watch that. It's uh, yeah, they're pretty great. The the last one though was it, we had issues with it because the creator wasn't as good, but the new one it's it's. I heard that that was a problem last year. I heard that was a problem with last year's. Yeah. The new one is spectacular. I was going to make sloth from the Goonies. Jesus. We have a good. bunch of like fake names that we put on our guest list. Oh, oh uh, hold on <laughs> to that. Don't call timeout. Uh, one was Duster Jenkum. Like he was like, whenever we need to fill guest list spots with just like funny names, <laughs> Duster Jenkum ends up in there. Which are like the two worst drugs you can do. Like there's the two like grossest drugs. Those are Duster. Drugs? Duster and Jenkum, yeah. Duster is computer cleaner, from what I understand. Uh, I'm walking on sunshine. And uh, that was who I picked. Oh, right. and that was who I picked at all. Stop throwing into the pile of bad guys. That was and who I believe I Jenkum is when you shit in a bag and then let it ferment and then breathe it in. <laughs> oh, I've done that. Yeah. Yeah. No Jen, Ron, Mexico I've done, I've for done you. that. Uh, so, so Duster Jenkum is our, our character. Oh. And we created him in the game and he's disgusting. It's a horrible, <laughs> horrible thing to look at. All right, at. Ryan, this is it. I've got it. Fourth down for the game. Don't throw to everyone else. Oh, shit. Oh, come on! Oh, oh no, that's it. That's up. a big win. That's ball that's a big win for that's the how it goes. That looks a whole Look lot like real coaches, life, Ryan. That looks a whole lot like real life, my friends. Oh my that God! Is, sadly uh, enough, that is true. Yeah. Oh, well, good game. Good game. Hey, we, we left it all out on the field. Uh, I think we played. You didn't the bring game it to the field. To that's the problem. Uh, I didn't play my. Uh, see, I usually my guitar tech is way better on offense than I am, so I just play ball control on him. And uh, <laughs> just, see, the, the time of possession will be like 17 minutes to three minutes. <laughs> it's really, really mad yeah, at me. You scored 14 <laughs> points in the fourth I quarter. I didn't do any of that. Good Lord. Look, they got tired. All Jack. right. Well, congratulations, they you bastards. They were kicking too much ass. I feel Dan, really good about it. For, uh, thanks for your company mandated visit to Chino. Yeah. I, really I should rephrase it. that. It wasn't that they told me. <laughs> the problem was they were like, Nick should go do this. Nick is our guitar player and keyboardist that's really into video so games. Sold, and he yeah. would love to do this. But we have a whole thing we have to do all day, and they yeah. have a lot of like a lot of gear to set up, and so it was like, well, I as the singer only have a microphone. Yeah, there's yeah. not a whole lot of things <laughs> yeah. for me to do. Dylan. Oh, I think we dominated that game. Oh Looking my god! And, uh, yeah, three yeah, points. Every Come on. stat. Every stat. I did no make, takeaways on either side. I did hit impressive. Bradford one time really hard, and he fumbled the ball. Oh yeah, even though that was actually a, a pass, but whatever. But it would have gotten reversed. Yeah, yeah. Um, you have a better completion percentage. Hey, we there did it. About the same amount of yards. That was a really close game. That's a good game. Uh, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, so Nick. Nick is really great at video games, and he would love to do this. But I right. was the only one that was available to <laughs> rent a car and drive 90 minutes up here <laughs> to spend time with you All guys. All right, here's what we do. And I'm glad that I did. Yeah. Here's what we do. Next time you guys play Fun 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 Fest or South by or ACL or, ACL or any of that bullshit. Anything. Or just play, I don't know, just Mohawk awesome. or yeah. whatever. yeah, yeah. You and Nick come and challenge two of us. Okay. Oh, yeah. right. We'll do well, what we'll have to do is Nick doesn't play any sports games and those are the only ones I play. So we'll do one where he's terrible. There we go. And then he'll put me in some sort of a shooter game where I actually can't aim the gun. Yeah, How do you guys perfect. do that? No, we don't. That's the I don't problem. know. If, See, as far back as yeah. Goldeneye, I have not understood a first person video game. Like, how do you look? Where's your peripheral vision? <laughs> Someone's sneaking up on me. I don't know. You're going to find out that you are surprisingly good compared to us. We yeah, got yeah. an Oculus Rift over there. You can just, oh, yeah, yeah. just look Really, around. really bad oh, yeah. at it. Um, you can make him play uh, nobody, uh, keep talking, no one explodes. There That'll you go. Fun. Let's see yeah, how, that's, that's how a good, good team building it. Yeah, 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 get the band to communicate. Or if we just play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. I'm all for that. You guys are in some deep, deep trouble. We can make that happen. All right, let's get out of here. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for coming. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Hmm, how are you doing? Say, if uh, you liked that video as much as I think you did, why don't you click on this book and watch another one? Or... <coughs> <coughs> click on the coughing idiot to subscribe. <coughs>